here's my 10 best players. So Luka would be number one. He's nearly averaging a 30-point triple-double. Okay, so he's number one. Number two is Jokic. He's nearly averaging a triple-double, and he leads the playoffs in rebounds and assists. Number three would be Ant Edwards, certainly the most watchable player, the only player averaging 30-plus on at least 50% shooting in the playoffs. So his efficiency has really clicked against better teams. That's a great sign. Number four, Jalen Brunson. He leads the NBA in scoring. His first step is so fast. A highest usage rate by anybody in the playoffs. So big minutes, big production. Number five would be Donovan Mitchell, who was second in points scored to Brunson and second to Brunson in usage minute. Six, I would get to Jason Tatum. He's the third leading scorer in the playoffs, and he also leads the Celtics in rebounds and plus minus. Seven would be SGA from Oklahoma City, although his scoring and assist numbers have gone down from the regular season. He's at seven. At eight would be Kyrie Irving, who's been great, but a lot of it's been in the second half, but he has been great. He's a complete defensive liability. That matters. Tatum is not. Uh, Anthony Edwards is not. Uh, even Luka now plays some defense. Uh, number nine would be Jamal Murray, uh, who tends to get better as the game goes on, but his team's in an 0-2 hole, and he's not getting it done right now. And number 10 would be Jalen Brown, who's uh, shooting about 32% from three-point range. Not great. Not much I can take from the Miami series. Hi, everybody. It's me, Uncle Colin. Subscribe here to get the latest from the herd, including exclusive behind-the-scenes videos and more, wherever you may be, however you may be watching. Thanks again for making us part of your day.